I've put out a lot of videos to help people play this game better. And so I get asked a lot of questions about that exact topic. How do I become more successful in a Monster Hunter game? And often it, this question will be phrased in a very specific way. The person will ask something like, what is the perfect armor and weapon to beat the tough monsters and advance through the storyline. And some people answer that question and they say, well, just send a join request. Now a join request might get you through one particular quest, but it doesn't really solve your problem, does it? If you're asking this question, it means you wanna be in control. If only you had the right armor or the right weapon, life would be wonderful. The truth is in Monster Hunter, there is no single perfect armor or weapon to take on the toughest quests. In fact, there are many more factors that are more important to your success than the specific gear you use. That's right, the gear you have is probably the least important factor to your success in this game. That's not to say that some weapons will work better for you than others, because for most people that's true. And that's why there's 14 different weapon types and dozens and dozens of choices for each weapon type. And there are hundreds of armor skills as well for all the various play styles that people can use. So finding the right armor and weapon for you is important. However, that's not going to solve your problem because a sufficiently skilled player can take any armor and weapon in the game and be successful at any quest. What that says to me is there are a lot more important things to learn about the game than just which armor and weapons to use. So I'm gonna tell you what I think are the most important things in the game for new players to learn and do right now if you're struggling. Let's do this. The first thing on my list, and these go in no particular order, the first thing that is important for you to do if you're struggling is to upgrade all your armor at the smithy. Now I don't mean change to new armor, what I mean is add armor spheres to your armor. What this does is it increases the defense of your armor. These monsters, can hit hard, so every point of defense counts. Don't listen to people who tell you that defense doesn't matter. It does, and armor spheres will increase your defense significantly. You'll need a bunch of armor spheres for this and a lot of money. Fortunately, you can get armor spheres very easily by completing subquests. I've never had an issue with not having enough armor spheres. So every time you get back from a quest, go to the subquests menu and select new subquests for you to complete and get those done. Now you're not gonna do every single one on every quest, but you can do at least one and often two or three subquests per quest. And you will get a bunch of armor spheres for this. Second most important thing, upgrade your weapon to its final form. So whenever you have the chance, and you can even focus on this as well. If an upgrade for your weapon is available, work toward it and get it. Your attack power goes up significantly as you upgrade your weapon. Focus on getting your weapon maxed out and make sure you're working on a weapon that can get to a high rarity. The ones that only go up to rarity four or five are probably not the best choice for fighting the highest tier monsters. Once you do get your weapon maxed out, don't forget to either ramp it up or if you're in sunbreak, get the augmentation going. Number three, learn your weapon's highest damage moves and combos. Now every weapon has some simple moves and some complicated moves. And as you'd expect, the complicated moves do far more damage than the simple ones. If you're struggling with doing damage to the monster, you probably need to learn the high damage moves that your weapon has to offer. Examples of this are charging your bow up to the maximum charge level and maintaining it with combos. Or for the long sword, charging it up quickly and using a helm breaker. Sword and shield has the Shoryu Geki counter, for bow guns, it's a matter of choosing the best ammo to shoot and optimizing your armor skills for it rather than a specific move. Number four. Now, some of these things in number four are specific to Monster Hunter Rise and Sunbreak, but in general, this one applies to every Monster Hunter game as well. Learn which items and hunting helpers will help you on your quest. Now, unlike in pro sports, in Monster Hunter, there's no shame in using performance enhancing drugs. There are tons of potions and items to help you level the playing field with the monsters. There are also plenty of hunting helpers that you can find on the quest to boost your performance immensely. Some of my favorite hunting helpers include the beetles, the blast toad, and the puppet spider. Aside from that, you've got potions that will increase your defense, 
that will increase your attack. You've got potions that will heal you instantly. You've even got traps to immobilize the monster. It's very important to use these things if you want to be successful, especially early on in the game when you're learning how to get good. And speaking of traps, Number five, learn how to capture the monsters. Yeah, you don't have to kill every monster. If it's not an elder dragon or an afflicted, you can successfully finish the quest by putting it in a trap and throwing two trank bombs at it. Pretty simple. You'll have to beat the monster down until it's about 20% health. It varies from monster to monster. Even still, this means you're cutting your quest time down by 20%. The nice thing is your palico will tell you when the monster is ready for capture. And if you do miss that message from your palico, you'll see a little blue skull under the monster's icon. So when you're facing a tough opponent, it is far better to capture it than to risk losing the quest in the last few minutes. And the last one, I saved the best for last. This is probably the single most important thing you can do to be successful in your quests. Far more important than even the armor and weapons that you choose. And that is to learn each monster's weak spots. When you're fighting any monster, you need to be attacking its weak spots almost exclusively. You can find these in your hunter's notes. If you turn on the damage numbers as well, you'll see which parts are weak based on the color of the damage numbers. If you're getting white numbers when you hit the monster, that means you can definitely find a better target. If you're getting gold numbers, that means you are hitting a weak spot. Weak spots may change throughout the quest based on whether or not the monster is enraged, but when this happens, they will always be predictable. Most monsters have a handful of weak spots that you can hit, so you don't always have to be hitting one spot all the time. And for melee weapons, this is even more true because monsters generally have more weak spots for melee weapons than they do for ranged weapons. And that's okay because with ranged weapons, it's pretty easy to hit that one weak spot from almost anywhere. One thing I want you to take away from this is there's no simple answer to performing well at the highest levels. And being successful has very little to do with finding the perfect armor and weapon. Success is about learning the details of the game and taking advantage of everything at your disposal. In Monster Hunter, knowledge truly is power. There's your PSA for the day. I hope this has helped you step up your game. And if you like the video, definitely click like. Leave a comment as well. And if you'd like to support my channel, check out my Patreon page. If you're in the market for purchasing a new game, you can also support my channel by going over to nexus.gg and buying it there. I get a small percentage of the purchase and you can also leave a tip there, 100% of which will go directly to me. Come on and join the Discord. We got a growing community of hunters who really love to explore the game and learn everything they can about it and have a lot of fun doing it. And check out the rest of my channel. I got a lot of videos on a lot of different topics that I think you'll enjoy.